in the way to the gas limo. You guys can get this in the blue. You guys can get this in the black. Now, this is, frankly, in any market, I have seen very few dress models yes. that actually step up with the tritium, much less one with a Russian heritage. Right. Now, uh, well, to be to be clear, this one does have one of the NH movements in it. it, it it's not one of the Vostoks, because I do like to make sure that nobody could ever accuse me of not being clear about what right. movement is in the watch. That said, what makes this one special is, there is, is, is a couple of things. One, this is one of the few dress watches anywhere, and the only one in the Vostok Europe uh, collection that has the tritium tube technology. For those of you who aren't familiar with that, these are these gas-filled tubes that activate the luminous material all the time, so the watch has constant illumination, so it doesn't matter what uh, lighting conditions you're in, it's going to be lit up, and it is uh, not like regular loom where it fades uh, throughout the night. You know how you charge up your regular loom, you put it on your dresser. By the time you, you get up in the morning, or if you have to get up and go to the bathroom at five in the morning or whatever, it's, it's a lot dimmer, if not completely dark. That's not the case with tritium. It's always going to be lit. But I think the big story on this one, and, and this is where I, I just like to let Tim go because I know he <laughs> loves this. What Vostok Europe did is they took this amazing bracelet that's on the Arctica, which they've had for several years now. It's a custom five-link bracelet that Vostok Europe um, has been building for many years that I know Tim just adores, and for, for good reason. I, I think it's one of the nicest bracelets out there you know, for, in for, any brand, for, forget, for, not for just Russians. Dollar spent especially, there, there is so much visual impact it's amazing. Of, of this bracelet. In fact, let me walk you very quickly so through this bracelet. And so they put it on, just, just to, to finish and, my and thought, they, they put it oh, on true. this watch, the gas limo, which it had not been before. So they had to add a, the curved end link. But other than that, it's the same bracelet you've enjoyed on the Arctica. Now, it, of course, begs the question, you know, why do I go, you know, so, so crazy for a, a bracelet? Well, first of all, I've been a fan of the higher end, the high quality bracelets for a, 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 a long, time. Uh, there's a real art to building a fine bracelet, much like there is, frankly, in building a fine, well, sports car or furniture or work of art or fine wristwatch. So let me show you what makes this one amazing. Why are you going to love this? Why is this the thing that you just end up having to own because it just screams off the wrist? Let me show you. And this angle illustrates it. First of all, it's a five link. Now, for those of you who may not be familiar and five with individual watch, links. exactly to get this installed on a tritium-equipped watch, much less one with an Eastern European heritage, at this money is very, very affordable for what it is. But let's move beyond that. You have to look at the shape, and this is where this got very clever. The shape is not kidney as such, which if you, again, know uh, uh, bracelets on wristwatches, most of them are. And it's a good thing, by the way, because it, it helps curve around the wrist. But this one has that curve, you can see it, but they are actually basically hexagons. Now, what results from that is a more flattened overall surface instead of just being rounded. Here's what happens. These surfaces begin to talk one to the other, and they're very intensely mirror polished and it's not just the surfaces look at the side walls of each one of these links and they're all solid blocks of steel and this is all done individually the side walls are also mirror polished so you actually have mirrors that talk to mirrors and then that array talks to another set of mirrors and so on so what results from this is a it's really an astonishing array of light play and scintillation that happens through this bracelet. It, it's absolutely amazing. It it's looks astonishing. Like a, multiple, oh, yeah. Like, multiples, multiples were spent. And not only that, well, it does have the dual deployment, and it's very generous. I, Tim, I've been telling Check this out. I don't, Please. I haven't had anybody ask me for extra links yet on this, on this watch. Well, look at I mean, that. Look at that. Now, I wear almost exactly an, an eight, all right? I, I, I don't know, a 10 or I'd be more. That's a lot of steel. Yeah, this is, you, if, you could be over a 10 and it would it would fit you. Yeah, that is a lot, a lot of steel. And there you, you see got, some of that light play. Let me, seriously. Oh, look at that. You've got that. two dial choices, right? Or are we only looking at the one right this now? This is, um, no, we have both. Okay, we've this, got, I have for the record, this is the one uh, under the uh, blue. Blue and silver, and then there's a straight black, if you want the more traditional black. Yeah, we'll show I, you guys the, the, the black one as well, obviously, and, and you, can, you can check it out. Personally, I think the black's a little bit more classic, I guess a little bit more right. edgy, I suppose, in the blue. Yeah, and the, I would say the, the blue is a little more sporty, the black is a little more traditional. Yeah, fair Another enough. Another thing, too, is that the tritium tubes on this are actually countersunk on the dial which gives a very smooth, usually tritium tubes are actually placed on the dial mm -hmm. at, the, 
at the chapter yeah, ring above positions, the surface of above the above the surface. This particular one, which adds it adds cost and um, production time, there are actually cuts in here in the dial. So there's an individual cut on each one of these tritium tubes, and then the tube is layered below it or countersunk. So you get a more smooth appearance of the dial. Across. So you still have Across. the power of the tritium, right. but it's less of a, a 3D effect. I say. It doesn't interrupt the texture on the dial nearly as much. Right. And the point of that, because it is intended to be a dress watch as opposed to a sport watch, that's why they countersunk them. Um, and we haven't mentioned the gas limousine was uh, Brezhnev's limo. It's actually the limo that he and Nixon drove around uh, mm -hmm. Red Square. Uh, it, it, it had a number of advan advancements in Russian automaking, and that was the inspiration. The original inspiration for the gas limo was actually the dashboard clock uh, that was in the limousine, which that you don't really see so much in this one just because with the tritium you're not doing numbers like the... Uh, right. The, uh, unless you're doing one of those crazy ones like Stan does where you have right, every well, number. You go to a C100, and yeah. then maybe at some point... You guys yeah, and we may look, do that, look, look but that. for now, this, 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 this is the inspiration still, the gas limo. And what were we mentioning earlier we were going to talk about? The, well, there the was year. a countersunk tritium and also the, the way that the, the dial is, is textured out. To... Well, Vosak just does beautiful dial work. They really I do. Mean, they really, I mean, you've got, you've got the concentric circles... Uh, along along the chapter ring, right below the, the the tritium tubes, and then you've got the sun ray in the center. I mean, there's just so much going on on these dials. When you combine that with uh, the scintillation you get with the the bracelet, the, bracelet. the whole watch just creates a real you know, fantastic. And, and I'm glad look you opened wrist. up with that point because I think that part of what makes this so strong as as a production um, is you're taking one of the. I, I think it's fair to say that, that this is one of the hottest uh, production bracelets. That has been on the show, much less the I, fact that yeah. you've know, got the Russian heritage, Eastern European, and what have you. Um, you bring that over from the, uh, I was going to say Ian Sharp, but that's wrong, the Artica, from the Artica. And you place it on the gas limo, and all of a sudden it takes the, the gas, and for those of you who haven't seen it, uh, has largely been presented on, on leather straps, which right. looks great, by the way. Uh, oh, yeah. But this has taken this visually to a whole new level. Absolutely. I think the reviews on this are going to be huge. Oh, yeah. They're going to love when, this and, and later we've got the, uh, the Russian red version with this, which is just phenomenal. Um, you, yeah, this is one of those, and I don't always say this about every watch, you know, I, I think it gets overstated sometimes, but this truly is one of those on your wrist, it's going to look like you spent a whole mm -hmm. lot more than you actually did. It does, and I try to be careful about, about using that, that phrase, because yeah. you're right, it is overused, and I can see where it becomes <laughs> real easy, oh, it'll just be a catch-all, and I'll, you right. just see it. Uh, these really do. Yeah. You look at this kind of a price reduction, um, and, and the beauty of this is the more that you know, let's take a look for it. This is the back of the watch. Forgive my fingerprints and so on on it. But the, this is the, the, the back of the watch. And the beauty of this is if you're sharing this with, for example, other collectors or consumers and they're familiar with watches, the more you know about wristwatches, you know how right. they're built, what the cost structures are, that you, frankly, become more impressed to the point where you can actually marvel at how much watch you are getting for a small price point like this. Oh, and by the way, with six interest-free payments, I, I should have got into this sooner, which this happens to have. You can get this on the wrist for sixty-six fifty-nine. This is not a layaway. You're going to put this on right. the wrist and go, which is really cool. Also, let's start thinking ahead for, for example, Hanukkah, which happens very early this year. It kicks in, I, I want to say, around Thanksgiving. I think literally on Thanksgiving. And you've got Christmas, not to mention groomsmen and any gift-giving occasions. Here's why I'm bringing this up. As of right now, this is actually one of the first shows of which I believe this to be true. We have instituted our holiday return policy, which means if you buy this or any product tonight, you have until the end of January wow. to test drive it. So that's, that's wow. pretty cool. We just instituted that. Well, we've had it before, but uh, for this year, it just kicked in. So you guys picking up all of the real Russian and the Eastern it's European four stuff. months. Yeah, pretty much. Wow. You test drive it. Uh, or put it away, it can become the ultimate holiday gift or whatever you need it to be. Wow. I gotta say, I'm kind of... I it. like the blue. Blue one. But I'm it, not, part of know, what I like about it is that it's such a departure. It is, but I always, I almost, I've always, i gotten where I almost don't want to say what my favorite is because as soon as I say what my favorite is, that means the other one just stops selling and everybody gra gravitates towards Because, I mean, you know, it, it is hard. You're looking at this on TV. You're looking at this on pictures. You, you know, in a lot of ways, they have to go by what we're telling them about it because you're, it's not the same as seeing it in person. It's as close as you can get 
with, with seeing it on the present the way the presentations are done here. But yeah, the blue on this, it's it's because it's different. It's an unusual color blue. It's like an electric blue. It's very electric, and then the combination with um, uh, the combination with that with that. Uh, uh, stainless, that uh, silvery color that's yeah, in there. Bracelet, now, I will goes, say, if you're, I mean, look at this. If, if you're looking for more traditional, you don't want to go with the blue yes. because it is unusual. Oh, I know that bracelet is just stunning. Just, and that's, this is no filters, by the no. way. It, it's, it's what that's it does. just how it looks. It's what it does. It, it's just a stunning bracelet. Um, I'd say, you know, the black is if you love the bracelet and you want the more traditional. If you are looking for something a little different, that blue is an unusual color. And I haven't quite seen that's that That's a beautiful watch. It is. A that, actually, watch. that's why I'm gravitating, because I already own charcoal black in right. Russian production. Right. So I like, you know, there's something I've never, never seen, electric blue from uh, an Eastern European building. Right. I mean, that, that's the collector. So we're going to get to some